Hi guys, this is Alex, and I've just watched a video right now by Carrie McCarpet on her channel, and it was talking about this girl that really needs her help. So I know my channel is not very popular right now, but anyways, I think that uh, the more people that this video can reach, the more people that can actually help. So hopefully a lot of people on the internet will round up uh, doing what Carrie has done and uh, you can go and check the original video and you can actually donate and help this girl out so I'm gonna let her talk and then let you guys uh, decide to do whatever you want to do hopefully at least if you can't give money try to post this video as many places as you can or even on your channel uh, all right I'll see y'all later bye I've got a challenging video for you now and it's the kind of thing that may shock the average person because it involves some nudity and is very graphic. But basically I know I can pass this on to you because we're the vegan fucking community mate and although it looks like we're always just having a good time with our festivals and physical feats and creativity and all that, we're also the only grown-ups on the planet who are prepared to face up to reality, including difficulty. We've done our research on factory farming, confronted our own personal guilt, we've employed some accountability. We're not afraid to inconvenience ourselves with doing the right thing. In fact, you're going to find this intro completely um, patronising and pointless, but <laughs> I just wanted to provide some context. Anyway, it's a video from someone in our community, Jen, an online friend who's been asking for help and hasn't got enough because her video hasn't reached enough people, hence me playing some of it here. This is a rare occurrence for someone to appeal to us personally like this. Um, most have a family member to support them, but Jen's mother died of the same cancer that she needs help with, and there are thousands of us, so I think between us we've got this. She's been vegan for two and a half years, since before she discovered she had cancer, 100% raw at times. She really has been trying as hard as anyone can with a healing diet, but for some months has been at a stage where doctors just can't do anything to help. So even if you're skeptical about alternative treatments, Jen just needs to go to a center where they'll take care of her and make her comfortable, and the one she's chosen employs a Gerson style protocol which looks like a good choice to me. Can we be sure this treatment will work and give the vegan community bulletproof PR we can use in our future campaigns? No, we can't be 100% sure, but like I say we are capable of facing reality and the reality is we can't control everything. All we can do is take action where the rest of the world talks themselves out of any responsibility and we hope for the best and that's it. So thank you so much for being so fucking great. Links below if you want to help. And if you don't have money, don't worry. It would be brilliant if you could share this video or Jen's original video or make your own. Thank you. In October, October 29th of 2011, when I was 30 years old, my mother passed away. She was 52. And less than, well, about a year before that, we lost my grandmother as well, who was sort of like a second mother to me. I was very close with her. And that was my mother's mother. The two of them were my foundation. Um... Less than two and a half years after my mother passed away, I found a golf ball sized lump in my left breast. That was July of 2014. Now it is November of 2015. So it has been a year and about three months, four months <clears throat> since I found a golf ball sized lump, lump in my left breast. I have been vegan for two and a half years now. I moved to Lansdale, Pennsylvania in September of 2014, successfully doing a raw, 100% raw vegan diet for over two months. 
in that time, the tumor continued to grow. It has grown and taken over my entire breast at this point. I'm sorry, it's hard to <coughs> breathe, <coughs> talk. <coughs> so that's why I'm talking kind of funny. I'm gonna show now what my breast looks like. I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this video. It's, uh... All right, I'm gonna sh show now what my breast looks like. So I'm going to warn you that it is gruesome. So if you don't wanna see it, please look away now. I'll only show it for a few seconds. So, look away now. Here we go. Let me get into the sunlight here. This is what my breast looks like now. It is, the cancer is spreading around my side and it is trying to spread over to my other breast now. And all of my shirts have a hole in them now so that Okay, I'm done showing it. You can look again if you had looked away. I need money. I really, really need money to save my life. Doctors can't help me. They told me many months ago that this was too large to operate. I wouldn't have chosen operation anyway, but... Oh, oh, oh. I need $25,000 to go to this treatment center and that amount of money will allow me to stay there as long as I need to and hopefully have enough to fly myself there and back and I have to bring a companion and the person that is willing to be my companion lives in England and I and she doesn't have money, and I have to be able to fly her there too, and back. So I might need more than 25,000, and that amount doesn't even... doesn't even cover what I'll need after the fact to continue the therapy that I have to do for two years that costs a minimum minimum of $2,500 a month. This is my last hope. And I need, I really, really need more help. I can't stay here any more. I want to live. I I want to heal this life so that I can help other other people heal too. And I've been able to raise about $2,500 so far. And look at what's become of me. I've lost so much weight and I don't look like myself and I'm not. <laughs> I'm in so much pain every day. <laughs> it's hard to breathe now. I can only lay on my back, but my back is so sore. <laughs> I, my, my ex stepfather's family has money but I don't think they want to help me and I have nowhere else to turn so please if you know anybody who may be willing to donate even if it's only five dollars please please help um if you know somebody who may be willing to donate a significant amount please help I need a lot of of money and I can't work and I'm really scared and I don't have any money <laughs> I'm 
34 years old. I'm a vegan and an animal lover and an artist. <laughs> and a sensitive, empathic person who has precognitive dreams and who has a lot of love to give. And I love to teach and I love to help people and animals. <laughs> and I really do want to live and I, w I want to know what it's like to live a good life.